We are currently experiencing a bird flu outbreak in the United States, and here is what you need to know. So far, we have confirmed cases of this specific strain of avian influenza in North Carolina, South Carolina, Kentucky, and Virginia. And unfortunately, it's likely going to spread into more states all up and down the East Coast because some of these confirmed cases came from migratory waterfowl. And because these are migratory waterfowl, that means that they could be flying anywhere up and down the Atlantic Flyway and just spreading avian influenza as they go. While avian influenza is considered a very low risk for humans, it is a pretty high risk for poultry and some other kinds of wild birds. Oftentimes, wild birds will be carriers of this disease, and so they will be spreading it through their feces as well as through the air by coughing or sneezing, but you might not even know that they're sick because they might not have any symptoms. So for people like myself who own po poultry, this is pretty concerning because your birds can become infected just by wild birds being around your pen and dropping feces in it. Right now, some states are recommending that you keep your poultry indoors. And indoors does not mean in your home. It means either in their coop or in a pen with a roof and fencing that doesn't allow for any wild birds to fit through the inside. So chicken wire, like you see on the inside here, that is not enough to keep wild birds out. But you can see on the outside of my pen, I have hardware cloth and that is way too small for any wild birds to enter this pen. Right now, every state has different recommendations. So it's best to check with your state's Department of Ag Agriculture website to see what they are recommending. Um, symptoms to look out for in your back backyard flocks include decreased energy, decreased appetite, discoloration of their flock or combs or wattle that sometimes is going to appear like a purple color, greenish diarrhea, um, swelling of the comb or wattle, and then twisting of the head or neck or just like stumbling. If any of your birds start to show any of those symptoms, your best bet is to call either your local vet or get in contact with your state's Department of Agriculture. For ducks specifically though, chances are even if your birds have avian influenza, they're not gonna actually show you any symptoms. Back in the early 2000s, when the United States was really looking out for avian influenza, the University of Michigan did a study that showed that ducks actually don't tend to show any symptoms of having av avian influenza. They're sort of just like carriers and geese have it but they don't tend to actually pass it on to other animals. Then the University of Georgia did a study where they infected five different types of ducks with avian influenza and found that only the wood ducks actually got ill and passed away from it. So mallard type ducks, which is all of our domestic duck species minus Muscovies, actually didn't get sick from it or pass away from it. Even though our domestic ducks aren't likely to be getting ill from this, it's still super important to practice proper biosecurity with them because they can be spreading it and you might not even know you have it. As of right now, some states are recommending that you keep your poultry indoors or in pens. Um, you're gonna have to check with your own individual state right now as far as that goes, but some good biosecurity tips to keep practicing no matter where you are right now is not allowing any visitors into your flock, always making sure you're wearing a certain pair of shoes or putting on like disposable shoe covers so you're not tracking in any feces from wild birds into your pens. Make sure you're cleaning all of your equipment and if you do notice any symptoms of your birds that they could possibly have in the avian influenza, make sure to report it to your state's Department of Agriculture or your local vet. As of right now, no state has actually like banned keeping your poultry outside or like free ranging them. They're just recommending keeping them indoors. But unfortunately, if this does continue to spread, there is a chance that we could end up like the UK and some other countries that go into like an annual poultry lockdown where birds literally are not allowed outside of their coop during certain months of the year just to protect everybody's flock. Most importantly, things could be changing every day with this, so it's important to just keep up to date with your state's Department of Agriculture so you know exactly what precautions you should be taking at this time.